With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so question says that the shortest wavelength of hydrogen atom in Lyman series is X, right? So then the longest wavelength in the Balmer series of helium positive ions, right? So we have to tell that the longest wavelength for the Balmer series, right? So this is option A, right? 5A by 9. The option B is 36A by 7. And option C is 36A by 5. And option D is 9A by 5, right? So let's try to solve it, right? So we know that the formula for calculating the wavelength, right? Is like this, right? So this is 1 by lambda, right? So this is 1 by lambda is equals to RH8 is right above constant, right? And this is 1 by N1 square, right? minus 1 by n2 squares these are the energy level right and here it is z square right here it is z square right z is here atomic number right so for hydrogen atom right so if i want to find out the four hydrogen atom right so for hydrogen atom the z is equals to 1 right so for hydrogen atom the value of z is equals to 1 right and we have given the shortest wavelength for hydrogen atom right so shortest wavelength can be happen if n2 is equals to infinity right so i can say that for lyman series right for i can say that for the lyman series i can write here for lyman series right so this is lyman lyman series right lyman series right for lyman series the value of n1 is equals to 1 Right, so the value of n1 is equals to 1, and for it is given shortest wavelength, right? So this can only be happen when n2 is equals to infinity, right? So when n2 is equals to infinity, right? So just put the all this value in the equation, right? So we get so I can write here lambda s, right? So s stands for short, right? So it is equals to right above constant r h, right? And here it becomes 1 by 1 square, that means 1 minus 1 by infinity square that means you can see that right here infinity square right and right, you can write here also one square right so and what is the value of z the value of z is one right so it is it is equals to one square right so i will get i will get one by lambda s right so one by lambda s right so wavelength short shortest wavelength right for hydrogen atom it is equals to it is equals to right above constant r h right so it comes out to be 1 by 1 that means 1 minus it comes out to be 0 right and it is 1 right so there is no need to write it right so i can say that the value for the shortest wavelength of hydrogen atom in the lyman series is x right so we have given the this value is x right so we have given this value this lambda x is given as x right for the lyman series right so we get here we get r h right we get r h is equals to right over constant is equal to 1 by x right 1 by x. So I can write here clearly. So this is our x. Right. So this is our right above constant rx. Right. So but we have to find the value of longest wavelength in the Balmer series. Right. So we have to find the value of longest wavelength in Balmer series. Right. So we know that for helium plus ion. Right. So we know that for helium plus ion right so helium plus ion right so i can write here as the value for z becomes 2 the value for z becomes 2 right and for balmer series right so for balmer series balmer series right for balmer series the value of n1 becomes n1 becomes the value of n1 becomes 2 and it is given the longest wavelength right? so for the longest wavelength this can only be happen if n2 is equals to 3 right if n2 is equals to 3 right so just all this value put in the equation and we get 1 by lambda right 1 by lambda and you can say this is l right so l stands for longest wavelength right so it is equals to r h and this is 1 by 2 square right so 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square right and it is here stand for you can say that this is 2 square right so this is 2 square right so let's try to solve it if I solve it further, I will get, if I solve it further, I will get 1 by lambda L. L stands for longer wavelength, right? And 
But what is the value of Rs? The value of Rs is 1 by x, right? So the value of Rs is 1 by x, right? So this is the value of x, right? And here I will get this is 4 and this is 9, right? And this is 4, right? So if I further solve it, I will take, I can take the LCM. So I can take it 9 minus 4 and it is 4, right? So this is our x. Right, so this is our x. Right, and it is equals to 1 by lambda l. Right, it is equals to 1 by lambda l. Right, so I can write here it's 1 by lambda l. Right, so lambda stands for longer wavelength. Right, so it becomes I can solve it. Right, so I can solve it. So I can cancel it out. Right, 4 1 are 4 and 4 9 are 36. Right, so I can solve it. So it comes out to be 5 by. 9x right 5 by 9x right so but we have to find for lim wavelength lambda l right so for i can say this so this becomes the so lambda l right so the lambda l the longer wavelength for the balmer series for helium atom comes out to be 9x divided by 5 right so this is the value for the longer wavelength for the balmer series right of helium plus ion, ion right so let's check the option in the option, it is given that 5a9 by a, right? So in the option, it is given this 5a divided by 9, right? Right. So this is not the right answer, right? So this is not the right answer, right? And 36a by 7, right? This is also not the right answer, right? And 36a by 5, right? This is not the right answer, right? And this is the right answer, right? So option D is the correct answer, right? Option D is the correct answer, right? So here, in the option, it is said that 9a by 5, right? So but in the question, it is said that Lyman series x, right? So here you can take the value x right instead of a right so this is the in the question it is uh, you can say it is asked in the question or you can say it is given in the question x so we have got the answer in x term right so we have got the x answer in x term right so this is the value right so you you can see here this is x right so if it is given in the question that it is a so we get the answer in a right so according to this concept so our answer will be the uh, 9a by 5 right so in this way i can say that the d will be the correct answer right so 9a by 5 right so hope this answered your question so thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today